Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot. Today, we are looking at Cloudway's new premium Intel servers from DigitalOcean. Okay, so in this video, we want to look at these DigitalOcean premium servers. And number one, we want to see how do they stack up against the standard original DigitalOcean servers. The second thing I want to check is against Vulture High Frequency servers. So Vulture High Frequency servers have been my preference. And so I wanted to see how do these new ones go against Vulture. And to do this, we want to look at Google page speed. We're going to do some sysbench database benchmarks and some load testing on loader IO before we head to our conclusion. So if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. So first of all, when you go to deploy a new server on Cloudways, under DigitalOcean, you'll see that on this slider, you can deploy premium droplets under these speed icons here. These are new. So you can choose a one gigabyte Intel premium by choosing that one or the standard one by going down there and that's the standard one gigabyte. So I'm gonna set up a standard one gigabyte, a premium one gigabyte and a Vulture high frequency one gigabyte. Now you might've noticed that if you choose a server smaller than two gigabytes, for example, this one gigabyte on Vulture or these one gigabyte ones on DigitalOcean, you'll get a message down there saying one gigabyte is for WordPress staging or low traffic websites, but it doesn't really give any guidance on what low traffic means. So I reached out to Cloudways to find out what do they actually mean by low traffic websites? And they were actually quite helpful here. They've supplied me with these guidelines on what they mean by how much traffic is suitable for each size of server. So these are very general guidelines. So a one gigabyte server, low traffic, what they mean is 30K to 70,000 page views a month. Now, for some people, this might actually be a lot of traffic. So I think a lot of projects, the traffic is much, much lower. A lot of small blogs might only be five or 10,000 page views a month. And so a lot of projects are still gonna be fine on these one gigabyte servers. So don't be too stressed out by that red message saying only suitable for low traffic. This is actually a lot higher than most uh, shared web hosting recommends on their basic plans. So this is still quite a good option. Again, these are only rough numbers. They're not actually written in stone. So if you're running a course or a, a heavy WooCommerce site, you want to be on the lower end of those numbers. If you're running a very static brochure or blog, you can be on the higher end of those numbers. So uh, make sure you take that into account when you're choosing the size of your server. If you're not sure, just talk to the support. They're very helpful in terms of setting up the right server for your project. So at the moment, the prices for these, the premium one is $12 monthly on DigitalOcean. The original one is $10 monthly and the Vulture High Frequency one is 13. So pretty similar in price. Let's check the performance on each of these. So what I did was set up an identical cadence website on uh, this number one is the DigitalOcean premium droplet. Number two is our um, original DigitalOcean droplet. And number three is our Vulture High Frequency service. So we ran these through Google PageSpeed Insights for a start. And basically they all did really, really well. So the first one was the premium DigitalOcean, perfect 100 on mobile. Second one, the standard DigitalOcean, 99 on mobile. And the third one, Vulture High Frequency 100 on mobile. So all of them excellent performance on a simple uh, WordPress cadence website. And running this, I didn't do anything special. I just kept the standard Breeze optimization plugin that Cloudways supplies. I didn't change anything in there. On the theme itself, I turned on the performance options under customizing general in cadence theme customizer. So that's all I did to get those results. Very straightforward. Next thing I looked at was the database performance running Sysbench. So database performance is important when, particularly when you're running an e-commerce site with WooCommerce because there are database transactions happening as the customer goes through the cart and checkout process. So you can see there's some advantages for going with the slightly more expensive options here. So as you go from a DigitalOcean standard to a DigitalOcean premium, you're getting about a 26% uh, improvement in database performance. As you go up to Vulture High Frequency, another 23% improvement. So Definitely worth it if you are selling things using WooCommerce or maybe running a online course where users need to interact with the database on WordPress. But for static websites, as we saw on the Google PageSpeed test, there isn't really a big difference between them. If you're just using served cached content, then we saw that uh, the Google scores were almost all identical and almost all perfect. So this is for dynamic websites. Um, and then you do get some advantage with going with Vulture High Frequency or DigitalOcean Premium. So we've thought about low traffic scenarios. What about when the website comes under a spike of sudden load? So when you've got hundreds of 
people simultaneously trying to access your blog. So this is where I used loader.io to simulate um, 200 and 500 clients per second over a one minute test period. So I did this for each of these just to see what it would be like if there was a sudden spike in traffic to these websites. So these are our results and I'll explain how this works. So with 200 clients, that is the blue marker here. So with 200 clients, it doesn't matter. They all perform perfectly. 10 millisecond average response time, no errors, um, standard, premium, vulture high frequency. They all did a great job. As I moved the load up to 500 clients, DigitalOcean standard experienced a bit of lag. So about half a second, slightly more than half a second, 568 millisecond average response time from the DigitalOcean standard. So it did start to struggle a little bit under 500 clients. DigitalOcean Premium still did very well, 28 milliseconds. So it did increase a little bit under that load. Vulture High Frequency, still perfect performance, still 10 milliseconds under 500 clients of loads. So Vulture High Frequency does well, but 500 clients per second is a quite a high load, honestly. Most websites will never experience that, that amount of load. So it does need to be quite a high um, intensity environment before you'll end up getting those kind of loads on a, on a static page. So just bear that in mind. Um, both of these do a very, very good job. So we're up to our conclusions. I'm just gonna say hello to all the people who skipped ahead to this point. I'm Alex from Ideaspot. I think all of these options are excellent for small static pages. I think um, DigitalOcean, standard DigitalOcean Premium and Vulture High Frequency will do a great job. Um, there are some advantages to Vulture High Frequency under high traffic and dynamic loads as we saw in our um, database benchmarks and our load testing. DigitalOcean Premium is definitely worth the extra $2 for many projects, particularly when you're running WooCommerce. I definitely think um, the extra database performance is going to be worth that. Uh, a couple extra dollars. And importantly, one gigabyte servers are still very useful. Don't be put off by the low traffic recommendation. They can still perform very well in many applications. Many websites will run very easily on these one gigabyte setups. So um, hopefully that is very useful for when you're deploying the new server and you see that a message about low traffic recommendations. So hopefully this has been useful. So that pretty much wraps it up. If you've never set up Cloudways before, I've done a complete tutorial there. I'll pop the video up there and you can get a three day free trial on Cloudways too. So I'll put that link in the description. Coupon code Ideaspot. Make sure you use that coupon code. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.